Good morning, science fiction and fantasy fans. Welcome to A Common Touch of Fantasy. My name is Paul. It is August 28th, 2017. It is a Monday. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Today, we are reviewing The Last Witness by K.J. Parker, reviewing how the main coon cat learned to love the sea by Shane McGuire, and my thoughts on Food of the Gods and Dark Matter, and also some Peter J. Tamazi comics. But first... This movie was phenomenal. Hidden Fingers, very, very good. I loved it. I am so glad I did not go to the theater because nobody wants to see a grown, huge man just sobbing in the theater. <laughs> KJ Parker's The Last Witness, a Tor.com novella from last year, was phenomenal. I loved this novella so much. The idea that this individual can take memories from other people and then have it feel like the memories are his is just such a great idea he uses this for a financial gain uh and he is able to like work for mobsters work for bad people to remove the memories of like a crime that they've committed so that the witnesses could not see what happened and what i really love about this is all the turns that this story takes and there's so much plot development within this little novella that I think is just fantastic. Uh, things happen with some of his old clients where he has to run away and he's being chased by them. But then the whole time, a lot of his past is very convoluted because he doesn't know what to believe and what not to believe. And it was just a really fantastic novella that I... I just loved, and I will definitely read more of K.J. Parker. I highly recommend this one. It was really good. And the, yeah, if you've read this, you know, you know, you know. All right, moving on, we have um, my thoughts on Dark Matter. Uh, I'm about 80% in, and something just happened that made me very interested in the story. So it took me almost until I was almost done for something to be like super original and thought provoking. And I'm finally happy that there's something in there that I like. Um, also, Food of the Gods by Cassandra Call. I'm about uh, that much through. So I want to finish this today. And Cassandra Call is a writer from Malaysia. And she is such a good writer, people. Such a good writer. She writes urban fantasy with a dark fantasy feel and I just really like her writing um, I became a fan of hers through her novella line with Tor.com and now I'm reading uh, this book which is actually two novellas put together but it's one overarching uh, story and it's about this cannibalistic chef that uh, is in the middle of all these gods so each of their religions all their gods are real but each of the religions kind of want to overtake the others so he has like this malaysian uh god and then there's like this chinese god and the greek gods and it's just really interesting and he's trying to figure out who killed the chinese's dragon's daughter uh and it's really cool, and it's very like supernatural and urban fantasy-ish and really dark at times, and it's just a lot of fun so far. That is Food of the Gods by Cassandra Call. Um, today's short story is How the Maine Coon Cat Learned to Love the Sea by Shannon McGuire. Uh, this was a delightful little story about how cats and the breeds of cats came to be basically a bunch of cats were on this boat and they made this deal with the god of the sea that if the uh you know if the god of sea let them live that they would uh, be able to prosper or whatever and uh basically different cats decided to do different things and that's how we got the all the different breeds of cats and it's just kind of interesting to see what she was going to do with like different uh cat breeding and stuff i wish she would have covered all the cat breeds that would have been fun but she only covered a few uh it was a fun little short story it wasn't anything groundbreaking or amazing but it was fun uh tomorrow we're going to be reading a nest of ghosts 
A House of Birds by Cat Howard. Looking forward to this. This is another animal-centered story, this time about birds. And uh, I'm been, I've been wanting to read more of Cat Howard to see if I want to pick up one of her novels. And I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. That is A Nest of Ghosts, A House of Birds by Cat Howard. Let me know in the comments below if you read uh, How the Main Coon Cat Learned to Love the Sea and what you thought of it. Uh, that would be fantastic. And moving on to comic books, I read Superman number 27. Um, this is written by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason with art by Scott Galuski and Gabe Altiab. Uh, they basically go on this trip across the country. And the, the Clark family is just having a road trip, basically. And they're learning a lot about the U.S. and freedom and things of that nature. Uh, it was fun. It was okay. Uh, a little bit propaganda in a way, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, it was fine. Um, Super Sons, number six. This was pretty great. I love the art in this so much. Um, Super Sons is written by... Peter J. Tomasi with art by Jorge Jimenez, one of my favorite artists in the game right now, and Alejandro Sanchez, an amazing colorist. Guys, the Hispanic community uh, across the world is doing amazing art in a lot of comics. Check the names of your artists in your comics so you know. Check out some of this art. Basically, Superboy goes out with Robin and um, gets told to go home because Superboy is a lot younger than the rest of the Teen Titans. And Superboy kind of feels left out. Pretty great. Love this comic so much. It's one of my top 10 comics at the moment. Super Sons by Peter Jotamazi and Patrick Gleason with art by Scott. I'm sorry, that's the wrong person. Uh, Peter J. Damasi with art by Jorge Jimenez and Alejandro Sanchez. So I'm going to be reading two comics a day from now on to try to catch up with my poll list. Uh, for tomorrow, we have Secret Empire number six by Nick Spencer with art by uh, Lenny Francis Yu, uh, Gary Algolian, Sonny Gao, and Yava Tertelia. I'm, I'm butchering these names, but I'm trying. And then Green Arrow number 27 by Benjamin Percy with art by Jamal Campbell. Um comic books the artists are worldwide very diverse i'd like to see more female artists though but there are quite a few now uh female centered female only creators on comics but i'm hoping for more female artists to transfer over to um like marvel dc and try to make a big splash there as well um starting tomorrow i hope to be starting air of navron by Michael J. Sullivan. Uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I know this one was, was a little bit longer than usual. If you have a question for me about anything in the comments, um, I'll answer. Uh, book question, discussion topic, or personal. It doesn't matter. I will see you tomorrow with the Cat Howard story and possibly a review of Food of the Gods if I finish it today. So we'll see. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great week this week. And uh, I'll see you in the comments.